Hey guys, what I'd like to do in this video is talk about Drive Club on the PlayStation 4. This is a driving game which I have had a lot of fun with over the years. It's one of the games that I played the most, but unfortunately it has been removed from all PlayStation stores. You can no longer buy it. A little bit of a shame, but yes, that is what happened. Now, this is actually one of the earliest racers for the PlayStation 4. It was actually announced with the PlayStation 4 in the first conference about the PlayStation 4. This is one of the games that was mentioned. It was delayed though until late 2014, like October 2014, I believe. Um, and initially, the reviews were mixed. There was a lot of people saying that it just wasn't working right. There was a lot of things wrong with it. I didn't see that game because when I downloaded it, when I bought it a few years later, it had been improved. They tweaked a lot of things, they upgraded a lot of things and they just made it a better game, you know, just through upgrades and adding new features. When I played it, I loved it. It was a kind of arcade racing sim, but there was a lot to enjoy about it. And I did a few live streams, I think, about it as well. So it's a little bit disappointing that it has been removed from the store. Now, one of the first things I checked was that you can still download this because I bought this in the store. I didn't buy this on disc. And that was one of the things I checked was that if my hard drive had to fail, if I bought a PlayStation Pro and I wanted to install it on that, I wanted to know if I can still download it. Apparently, yes, I can. That is not an issue. But it's still a little bit surprising that this has been pulled out. Clearly, the developers of this are still making money uh, you know, from this game. There's a lot of people who still buy this game. You always see it in sale. It's always up there in the rankings, but they're obviously not making enough money to keep them updating it, keep them supporting it. So they've decided to just remove it from the store. So it's a little bit sad because this is one of my favorite driving games on the PlayStation 4. The graphics are amazing. Uh, I downloaded the bike expansion pack as well. Um, yeah, just a really fun game, especially with the driving seat. You know, with the, the, the driving seat I've got, it's just amazing. It's just a lot of fun. So I was a little bit disappointed to hear that. And there was a lot of other people disappointed because the developers said that this would remain in the store until 31st of August. And they actually pulled it a day or two early in most regions. They just removed it from the store. So that annoyed a lot of people as well. So you can see here on the website, it still says buy it now. When you go to buy it now, you can still buy this disc. When you go to buy now, well, you're going to run into a problem. That's to buy it on disc. If you want to buy it from the PlayStation Store, well, you're going to see this message. And it will say, if I hide my webcam, it will say it may be unavailable or the address may be incorrect. Select home to continue. But yes, this is unavailable. So yeah, a little bit annoying because as I said, this was a great game, but it raises a lot of questions again about buying games from a store rather than buying it on disc. You know, if you're going to buy it, the digital version of it, what limitations are there from that? I saw a lot of people saying, and you know, and as I was saying there, you can still download the game if you've bought it. But I saw a few people, I was, I was looking through the Reddit for Drive Club and there was a lot of people obviously talking about this. Drive Club VR still available, etc. Still in time. Last chance to get it. Can we still download it? Which is what I was curious about. But there were a lot of people who had downloaded the full game. They've bought the game either on disc or from the store. And they have not had an opportunity to buy any of the expansion packs. So they've not been able to download the DLC. And that's a little bit annoying because this game, yes, is good. But there's a lot of enhancements for the game. You know, you've got Drive Club VR, you've got Drive Club bikes and there's a lot of different things you can unlock and buy but you can't do that anymore you can't do that so if you are left with the disc version or just the original version you're not getting the full experience of this game and it you know it kind of raises questions again about just the way that games are sold now and also it raises the question how long can companies be expected to support a game they released this game just short of five years ago is that enough time it's still making money, there's still people buying it, still people playing it. But what kind of um, loyalty should a, a games company have to its customers? Should they just keep updating it? It's one of those things, I do understand the business side of things. I do think that games companies have to make money. And I realise that every games company isn't going to make as much money as, you know, like a Grand Theft Auto game. But as a customer, it is a little bit frustrating that if you bought a game and you're maybe working your way through it, 
you can no longer download the additional levels or down, download the expansion pack. It's a little bit disappointing. So uh, I'll leave a link to this page and to the, the Reddit page. Check the Reddit. There's a lot of people been asking questions about this. A little bit disappointing. I never like hearing stories about this, but I think this is this will be more common going forward. You know, we are st still kind of in, in the, the migration from, from hardware discs to digital. I don't think we're really there yet as far as going digital only, but these are the kind of problems that can arise with games that are bought digitally. If you buy a game from a store, there's always risks of things like this happening. So let me know what you think about this. I still enjoy Drive Club and I'm quite lucky that I did buy the Bikes expansion pack. Um, I've not downloaded the VR, which could be a problem later if I do buy uh, if I do buy VR. But um, yes, I do have the expansion pack. It's a fantastic game and it's a game I will play again in the future. It's just a shame that others cannot do that now. So thanks for watching. Let me know what you think about this in the comment area below. And until next time, take care.